Female reproductive system is found in any female human beings. We know female person can only contain female reproductive system because human beings are unisexual. So male reproductive system or any part of it will only be found in male person. Any exception in this is considered as abnormality. Now coming to the location of female reproductive system. Female reproductive system is located in the pelvic region. As you can see the this arrow is showing the pelvic region. The bone present here this is the pelvis so this is the pelvic region now coming to the paths of female reproductive system female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries a pair of oviduct uterus vagina cervix and external genitalia I repeat, a pair of ovaries, a pair of oviduct, uterus, vagina, cervix, external genitalia. Supportive structure. So what is the supportive structure? Mammary gland. Mammary gland is considered as supportive structure present in female reproductive system. It is the common feature present in all female mammals. Now coming to the functions of female reproductive system. Ovulation that is production of ovule. This process is called ovulation. Fertilization. Fusion of male and female gamete that is sperm and ovum. Pregnancy due to female uh, due to uh, fusion of male and female gamete. First zygote forms form the from that embryo is developed which further develops into fetus. This process is part of the pregnancy which uh, this development occurs inside the uterus this part inside the uterus and this process is called pregnancy. Next part giving birth to the child, childbirth and child care mammary glands and hormones are directly involved in this process. Coming to the first part of female reproductive structure. A pair of ovaries present that is the primary sex organ in case of female primary sex organ in female. Location each ovary is located on either side of lower abdomen. Ovaries are connected to the pelvic wall and this connection is helped by the ligaments. With the help of ligaments ovaries are attached with the pelvic wall. Now coming to the next part that is ovaries are covered by thin epithelium. This epithelium encloses ovarian stroma. Now size of ovary, length or size of ovary 2 to 3 centimeters. It's better to say 2 to 4 centimeters. Each ovary is 2 to 4 cm in length. Now coming to parts of ovarian stroma. It is divided into two parts inner medulla and peripheral cortex. These are the two parts. Coming to the accessory ducts. Now which are accessory ducts? Mainly three structures form accessory ducts. Those are oviduct, cervix and vagina. They are collectively known as accessory duct. Now coming to the next part that is oviduct or fallopian tube. As I said oviduct is also called fallopian tube. Now length 
of oviduct is 10 to 12 centimeters. It extends from periphery of ovaries to the uterus. It ex the fallopian tube extends from periphery of ovary to the ure uterus. Now coming to parts. The part near the ovaries are called infundibulum. It is funnel shaped. It opens, infundibulum opens in the ampulla. That's the next part of fallopian tube. As you can see, this is infundibulum. This one is ampulla. And the last part of fallopian tube is called isthmus. It is connected to the uterus. Now the finger like projections present in infundibulum is called fimbri. These are the finger like projections. As you can see, these are the finger like projections. They are called fimbri. And what is the function of fimbri? Collection of ovum after ovulation. It is uh, directly these parts, fimbri are directly connected to the ovaries so their function is collection of ovum after ovulation now next part is uterus as you can see in this M image uterus is the middle part this whole thing is uterus now coming to the it is uterus is also called womb. Shape of uterus is inverted pear like. Now coming to the it is attached to the pelvic wall by ligaments and it opens in the in this uh, it opens through the uh, narrow cavity of vagina uh, cervix into the vagina so I repeat uterus opens to the vagina through narrow cervical cavity now coming to parts mainly consist of four parts the cavity portion of uterus is called cervical cavity the middle part shown in white in this image this mid middle part here I have hold, holding the cursor is the cervical cavity which is written uterine cavity. Now the outer layer consists of three types of tissues. First one outer thin epithelial layer that forms perimetrium. Middle smooth layers containing thick muscles form myometrium and Inner glandular layer forms endometrium. Now coming to function of myometrium, it contracts, strong contraction during childbirth. Function of endometrium, cyclic changes during menstrual cycle. Now coming to external genitalia. External gen genitalia consist of mainly five parts. Mons pubis first part, labia majora second part, third one labia minora, fourth one hymen, fifth one clitoris. It's not clitoris, it's clitoris. Okay, let me write again. It's clitoris. C L I clitoris. Okay, so mons pubis is cushion like it's cushion like structure and it is made up of fatty tissues mons pubis cushion like structure made up of fatty tissues and covered by pubic hair now coming to the next part that is labia majora it is fleshy part it f fleshy folds of tissues and it is connected between the mons pubis and it opens into vaginal opening labia minora are paired fold of tissues it is present under labia majora it uh, then the then the membrane 
the membrane partially covering the opening of vagina is called hymen so what is hymen hymen is the membrane partially covering the opening of vagina clitoris is the outermost part of female reproductive um, system it's finger shaped and it lies at the upper junction of to be two labia minora and it is present above the urethral opening so clitoris shape finger like structure location upper junction of two labia minora and we can also say above the urethral opening now the most important say, thing i'm going to say is hymen is broken during first coitus that is intercourse but absence of hymen in case of any female do not do not show or it is not it it is not indicator of virginity or sexual experience you can ask why because it can also be broken due to following reasons cycling horseback riding these are the sports active participation in this or vaginal tampon insertion of vaginal tampon or sudden fall or jolt jolt can cause these problems now coming to the next part as i said supportive structure as you can see this is the image of mammary gland you can find the structures so mammary gland is commonly found in all mammals female mammals now it is made up of two mammary uh, glands means what to say mamma there are a pair of mammary gland present in a human being in a female person it is also called commonly called breasts and it is made up of glandular tissues these glandular tissues are divided into lobes mammary lobes 15 to 20 mammary lobes can be present um, in a breast and they are made up of so gland mammary gland made up of glandular tissues glandular tissues the 15 to 20 um what to say each breast consists of 15 to 20 glandular tissues these are called mammary lobes they contain cluster of cells these cells are called alveoli so mammary lobes then glandular tissues these tissues form cluster of cells called alveoli function of alveoli they secrete milk this is stored in the cavities or lumens of alveoli now collectively alveoli form mammary tubules these tubules join to form mammary duct and mammary ducts join to form mammary ampulla all mammary ampulla connect and form lactiferous duct from this duct milk is sucked out so again i repeat in human female two or a pair of mammary glands are present commonly called breast now they are made up of glandular tissues and fat as you can see in this image these glandular tissues means in each uh, mammary gland 15 to 20 lobes are found these are called mammary lobule now each mammary lobule is made up of cluster of cells which is called um alveoli so each mammary gland sorry mam uh, mammary lobule consists of cluster of cells these are called mammary lobule now these mammary lobules they join together sorry the alveoli present in mammary lobe lobes or lobules they join together to form mammary tubules mammary tubule tubules join together to form mammary duct and mammary duct join together to form ampulla then ampulla join together to form lactiferous duct 